So, you're thinking about having a baby. Before you do that, it's five questions you should ask yourself before you go to that extreme. <laughs> because, you know, we are sometimes a little bit too eager about doing these social norms that we are just programmed to follow unconsciously. But have you asked yourself these questions? Have you really sat down and really committed yourself to that extreme decision of your consequences to your own actions by having kids? Okay, let's, let's just get started because this is why I am child free because I ask myself a lot of questions. Number one question you should ask yourself before you think about having kids. Are you able to handle sleep deprive? How do you handle not having sleep? Have you really thought about that? Are you a cranky type of person? Are you easily triggered if you don't get some sleep? Are you gonna be lazy? Are you gonna start procrastinating if you don't get your full eight hours of sleep every single night? Because for about 18 years, you have to commit yourself to not being well rested. Okay? You're going to be tired. You're going to have bags underneath your eyes. How do you handle that? How do you handle being tired every single day? If you can handle it, there we go. <laughs> there we go. But if you can't handle it, don't be mad at other people for just existing. Are you gonna be a mean person because you're not getting your sleep? You're gonna start flicking people off. You're gonna have road rage. You're gonna start screaming at a McDonald's worker. What are you gonna be like? Ask yourself. Number two, how is the relationship dynamic with the future other parent? How is it? Is it smooth? Is it easy? Is it fun? Is it exciting? Is it strict? Is it controlling? Is it toxic? Is it healthy? Have you noticed how the flow of the relationship is going? Is it going up and down? Is it a roller coaster? Or is it smooth and selling? Because when you have a baby, everything changes. Imagine both of the parents not getting their sleep. Are you guys able to communicate or are you gonna argue? Who's gonna get up when the baby starts crying? Have you asked your partner what are their belief systems? How do they feel about homeschooling? How do they feel about taking turns when it comes to daycare? Who's gonna watch the baby? Are you gonna take them to daycare? Or are you gonna take them to the grandma's house? Have you asked about the schedule change? You have to figure out now, schedules cannot be conflicting. You have to know, okay, I got the mornings, you got the nights. This is a team effort. So how is your teammate? Is your teammate someone you can trust? Is your teammate someone you get along with? Is your teammate someone you can be yourself with? Do you laugh with your teammate? Because when the baby comes here, the baby should have a peaceful household. Are you and the partner living together? Are you guys gonna live with the baby together? You have to sit here and ask yourself these questions. Have you asked your partner, how was their childhood like? And do they want their child's childhood to be similar to theirs? Or are they in competition with their childhood? Do they have trauma with their childhood? Ask them about their family history. You have to know who are you trying to conceive a child with? Do they have health issues? Are they clinically diagnosed depressed? Do they have a reading disorder? Are they intelligent? You have to like really sit here and observe the partner you thinking about breathing with okay number three i wrote these down because it is serious if you see the way the world is headed right now we are in a recession we are in a pandemic 
rent prices is through the roof gas oh my goodness do you want to talk about it global warming is at an all-time high the heat the weather of these high temperatures of earth right now so as you notice everything that's going on that is transitioning how do you see the world when your kids become adults how do you think the world will be for them have you sat and really thought about this beautiful place on earth or are we going to be living in hell have you thought about the social media influence the child is going to have have you thought about the comparison the child is going to have living in this social media era have you are you ready to spend all of that money for them to compete with that lifestyle when they are getting into high school when they are under peer pressure when they gotta look a certain way to be accepted by high schoolers by other kids have you thought about what if your kid gets bullied how are you gonna handle that and how are you going to teach them that it's okay to be different have you thought about the peer pressure the kid has to go through in high school as a kid? You know, when I was in high school, they used to peer pressure me. Peer pressure me, they used to bully me, they used to make fun of me. I was called, oh, you too loud. Stop talking, shut up. But now look, I talk for a living. They will try to shut your dreams down. And how are you going to build up this kid's dream by not having the world shut it down? Think about it. Number four, are you able to give the child space to be an individual, to grow, to think for themselves, to be with themselves, to meditate on their own understanding? Or are you the type to be controlling? Because what if the kid tells you no, are you gonna be mad because they're not a people pleaser? So what if the kid stands up for what they believe in? Are you going to be upset because they don't think like you? What if the kid decides to go another route than you? How are you going to handle it? Are you going to crush their dreams or are you going to be their biggest support? Because parents should be their child's biggest support, not their worst enemy or not their bully. And are you able to really understand that the kid is not yours. They came through you, but you don't own them. Are you able to really understand that from a spiritual aspect? Because knowing that you don't have possession over them, you can't control them. How do you feel about that? If they want to just do whatever they want to do and live however they want to live, how are you going to react to that? Number five, the last one. How do you expect them to handle suffering? Suffering is going to happen here. Death, murder, adulting, paying bills, depression, anxiety, hardship, trauma. How do you expect them to handle it? Do you think they're gonna be tough? Do you think they're going to be strong? Do you think they're going to be weak mentally, spiritually, and emotionally? Do you think they can handle paying bills? Do you think they can handle this adulting? Do you think they can handle responsibility, extreme responsibility that they didn't ask for? Can they handle it? Can you handle it? If you can't handle it, how you think we gonna handle it? <laughs> These are just five questions that I thought of from the top of the dome. It's definitely gonna be a part two to this, but sit and ask yourself, these type of questions have this dialogue within yourself and with your partner because sometimes we can just be so excited on a high drunk in love dumb in love and not realizing the consequence that we put on ourselves
the responsibility that we give ourselves and now it ends up being a burden to ourselves that we have done to ourselves we do this to ourselves okay nobody does this to you it's for you it's happening for you but you have to ask yourself nobody asking you to have a baby you you telling yourself this what are you telling yourself that you think this is a really good idea ask yourself